Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you seven of my most favorite bluegill baits to fish with in a pond. And um, first off, my most favorite and probably catch the most fish, bass, and bluegill is uh, this creek hopper crankbait, which has red eyes and also you can see it has a little bit of an orange tint on the belly to it. And uh, it's a grasshopper crankbait and it dives two to five feet and boy, it fished right beside a submerged cover or a tree. It just really is a real kicker. And uh, works really good after the bass have gone out and the bluegills start to come in and spawn. And uh, they also make a yellow color on that too, but it uh, doesn't have the red eyes, so this would probably be better in clearer water. Uh, second, and actually probably one of my favorite, is actually, you probably laugh at me, it's a finesse jig. And it has a real light... Uh, weed guard to it and uh, it's black black and blue flicker and uh, has a little shine on it and um, actually I put it with a net bait trailer which actually you can buy at Bass Pro and it's actually not a full crawdad body it's actually half in fact I'll show you here in the bag it's a net bait it's only half of a crawfish so it actually uh, saves you money and half of a cra half of a crawfish but uh, this um, it has the real wedge head so it comes over cover and one thing I see people do way too much is what they'll do is they'll see a submerged log out there that's probably 20 yards and they'll cast right on top of that log and what it does is whenever this hits the water it displaces too much water and it scares the fish off so what you need to do with something big and bulky like this you need to throw it past your target and bring it in so the fish can just see a normal crawfish like presentation and the way I work this bait is I just drag it to the side. Now, I see people, when they drag, and they mean drag, they pull it up. And you know, when you walk up to a creek and you see a crawfish go off, it doesn't go like that. It goes straight across. So you need to have that natural pull to make this really shine. And next, number three, is a uh, green pumpkin flicker with an orange tail. A grub, actually, and you want to match it with a quarter ounce jig head that matches this perfect. And what you want to do is you just want to rig it, just a simple sticking out, and uh, so it'll end up looking like that. And uh, whenever you want to fish this is when the fish are about to go and spawn, and, and the bluegills are about to go and spawn. And you want to fish this, so because they're going to be really hungry and they're going to want a lot of food before they spawn. And uh, fourth for the bluegill is um, this little white ringtail grub. And actually, most people would match, match a white grub with a white head. Well, I don't do that. See, in a pond where it's kind of murky, murkier water, I want something that kind of offsets it. So I want a white shad-colored grub with a pink uh, jig head. So it kind of offsets it. And it's got that little spinner there, so it kind of makes it a little more bling, too. And then, uh, fifth is a buzz bait. And, uh, you'd actually think bluegill don't chase this thing. I mean, it's too fast for a bluegill. And, uh, actually, this bluegill can swim as fast as you can. And with the red, so it looks like up above, if you, if you were a fish and you were looking up at this, it would look like a wounded shad. And with this thing coming through the water real fast, it's a really good bait. Whenever you're fishing, it's pretty warm. And they're about to head up to those, uh, sticks and they're about to spawn and then when it's hot and the bugs and stuff are out and they're gra uh, grasshoppers and crickets jumping out in the water i'm going to want something that imitates a wounded one of those so for instance my what here number uh, six is a jitterbug and as you can see it has the cone shape so it really waddles in the water and actually has a little rattle in it too so in the murkier water the fish can hear it a lot better but I've caught giant bluegill off of this, and it is a real killer when it's summertime. And then seventh, which is really good, uh, and you're going to laugh, uh, right after the frogs have got done having their uh, their babies, is uh, this just this little mini crankbait. And as you can see, I picked a black color. And uh, it's got two really sharp treble hooks right there, front and back. And what I mean by when the frogs get done having their uh, babies is... Uh, whenever they get done having their babies, the polywogs get really big. And they're not purple, they're not pink, they're not white, they're black. So whenever, if you're walking down a pond looking for a place to throw out and you see big polywogs swimming out, 
you definitely want to go with a mini crankbait and a solid black color. Really silhouettes well, so it could mimic a shad, but whenever those polywogs are swimming out right from the bank, you know this is going to be killer. And uh, so I hope that that was helpful for y'all. I uh, hope that you'll be able to locate bluegills next time you go out by yourself, with your cousin, or even with your three-year-old kid. And uh, just remember, you can, you, there are other baits that you can catch bluegill on other than a bobber and hook. So I hope these baits were helpful for you, and I hope you'll have success with them. See ya. Hey guys, today I just wanted to show you my top seven baits for catching bass. First of all is the pop bar, which is great for fishing at pond, shorelines, and in shady spots. Bass love to come up and just eat this bait. My technique is to pop it, let it sit, and let the ripples flow away, and then pop it again. This technique has worked for me a lot of times. Second of all is this plum-colored worm, which I have had a lot of luck with. My technique for this worm is to drag it, stop it, and drag it. Bass love to eat this bait, and it's something that I've had tons of luck with in the past and the present. Third is the Crick Hopper, which is, as you can see, a grasshopper with red eyes, and it act, it's actually a crankbait, so it goes this way, and bass love it. Fourth is the crappie crank, and don't get me wrong, it will flat out catch crappie, but it will also catch bass. I've had lots of luck with this shad pattern crappie crank, and you can get a nice cheap one at Walmart, and they work really well. Fifth is this little ringtail grub with a blue jig head and a little spinner, and this is what I've caught my biggest bass ever on, and... On a bright sunny day, this will really work well for you. Sixth is the hula popper. And it's actually more of a mini hula popper. And the first time I tried it, I caught six bass on it. What the, My technique for this bait is to pop it. And whenever you do, these feathers all fold up. And then they spread out, which is very attractive to the bass when they're looking up at it. And at seventh place is the river bug, which I have Zika rigged, and it works really well in more shallow ponds with dirt bottoms and even rock bottoms. They will work really well. And actually, I have a different color with me today, which is blue and black, and this is a really nice color, and I hope this was helpful to you and I hope you will catch more bass in the future from this technique and thank you for watching this video.